Hey, this is Kyle. And I'm Adam. We're from the band Vitriol. We're here out on tour right now with Exhumed, Escuela Grind, and Molder. And we're here in our uh, brand new to us uh, short school bus. Real so here's a 2006 uh, E450 Super Duty Diesel. Uh, it was recommended to us to get a diesel, and uh, we've never driven one before, so it's been really fun figuring the shit out. It's amphibious, goes in the water, flies. Uh, there's nothing this sweet baby can't do. Yeah, so uh, we've uh, been renting vans uh, for several years now, and we've figured the cost of renting, uh, we could just buy our own vehicle. So, uh, you know, sleeping on the bench seat's not a whole lot of fun, so we decided to get this outfit, this thing, for more of a tour purposes and uh, she's a boat she's real big but we don't have a trailer right now which is nice uh, yeah it's a lot shorter we are a little bit taller a little bit wider but she cruises man uh, I usually do the night driving um, I stay up late and the other guys sleep and then uh, in the morning I sleep all day while they kind of rotate around and uh, we all take turns we all pitch in on driving this thing Oh man, mostly uh, for entertainment in here is uh, we talk a lot of shit to each other. Uh, we also listen to uh, music on our, we got a loudspeaker in here because the stereo is busted, of course. Um, but yeah, we'll listen to, I mean, we listen to a lot of different styles of stuff uh, and some really ridiculous songs on YouTube like Ram Ranch and shit. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's usually how we do. Uh, to be honest, this tour has been, there's been so much problem solving on this tour that we haven't really had the opportunity to settle into a recreational flow as this thing rolls down the freeway. But uh, yeah, typically music and uh, we like us a good It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia podcast. Uh, but yeah, uh, not, not, wish, wish I could be more entertaining with this one. So we got here in the uh, chili bin. A lot of... A lot of, uh, a lot of, of melted soda. ice and uh, the the nectar, the current mm. nectar of the gods. I'm a big Mountain Dew fan. Uh, not necessarily the original, but uh, this is the best thing since Code Red and Baja Blast, my friends. If you're not on the Spark Wagon, get on the Spark Wagon. You won't, uh, you won't regret it. Yeah, we got some stump town here. Uh, lots of cold brew in this band. Uh, Chimera, yep. for all y'all with Crohn's disease, yep. represent uh, only one beer, because only one of us really drinks. Uh, yeah, I've got some soy products, we got some apples that we got from uh, Kyle's grandmother Yeah, that, was, that uh, we still haven't eaten yet. They're just there to make us look healthier than yeah, we are. Yeah, we don't actually eat that shit. It's like Cribs, we stocked this shit with Cristal before you came. That's our apple. The apple is our <laughs> Cristal. So, uh... I was supposed to go to a rodeo earlier this year and I didn't make it out, so this has become the uh, the driver's hat right here. It uh, doesn't work well with hoods, so it doesn't get worn in the cold weather very often, but when we get down to Arizona, I'm really looking forward to putting this thing on more. It's uh, What's really special about it is it reduces the rate of tickets because it increases your freedom score by 30%. Yeah. So cops are much less likely to uh, cite you because of the, you know, the freedom. Freedom helps a lot. Uh, also, chewing tobacco also uh, yeah. helps with the whole vibe um, for not getting tickets. Yeah, right and dirty. Boy, have I got a story. So, when we got this thing, there was a, uh, a fire extinguisher right there. And uh, we our, our heater wasn't working uh, when we first started the tour, so we needed uh, some form of heat. So we got this propane tank, which is way too big, uh, and this nice fancy propane heater right here. I know what you're thinking. You swapped out a fire extinguisher for a propane tank, and you'd be right. That is the most death metal thing you've ever heard. But there's more to it. See, I planned ahead and decided to keep the fire extinguisher. However, the only place we could put this thing was back behind that seat, and it's underneath the seat. You probably can't see it with all the stuff right in front of it. Um, but what's funny about it is you have to unlatch it from the top and pull it out from the bottom. So if we ever have a fire in here, it's going to be hilarious watching us trying to figure out how to put it out. Here, you get a nice up close on this smashed ranch packet. Yeah, there we go. That's what tour looks like, and that's also what tour feels like. <laughs> that's a self-portrait of myself two weeks into tour. It's, you can't tell the difference. 
Yeah, so we uh, picked this thing up. Uh, it was only a couple weeks uh, before tour, and uh, I knew what we wanted to do. We we have uh, some friends that work in metal fab and whatnot, but of course, no one was available to help us out. So went to the Home Depot, and having no idea how to do any of this shit, we bought a ton of Unistrut and just started bolting it down. Um, this is Unistrut for everyone who doesn't know. Yeah, and it's uh, you think it's kind of like Legos, but it's really fucking not. And uh, I had to punch a lot of holes in certain areas. It's some of it's a little questionable, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this wall, all of our gear goes back there and nothing's penetrating this wall. These two beams go through to the outside of the beams of the bus. So that's pretty sturdy and everything's kind of essentially built on top of that. So feeling pretty confident in that. Uh, the, band members on, the band members on the other hand will absolutely go somewhere. So if we, uh, <clears throat> slam on those brakes or hit something we'll straight it's a nice little eject straight out that front windshield so uh, it'll be quick and painless is the, yeah. is the yeah. at least the hope there's uh we had about two days to uh we we set aside two days to get this all figured out and uh we spent five and uh the day of the first show in portland on this tour um we were working on this and then we came home that night and then worked on it the next morning before we went to the second show of tour um and it came together eventually, but yeah, there's still kind of a work in progress We're trying to get some walls up so people don't die if we hit the brakes. Uh, but not bad, man. I mean, I think uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. We got we got some locks on the doors. We got this here, so you can't turn it. Um, made that's that. Custom. That's custom right there. I made that 30 seconds before the first show. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, Steven uh, is the biggest dude in the band, so he got the bottom. That's about as far as we got. We're like the. Who's the last person you want to crush you in the middle of the night? And that would be our boy Steven, so he gets the bottom bunk. Plus he gets up to pee like five times a night, so uh, we figured it'd be best to have him down there not bothering the rest of us. Yeah, man. But yeah, we decided, we knew that, uh, uh, you know, as he and I at least are getting older, it's really important that we rest well on the road, so getting a short bus a big incentive for that was being able to facilitate real sleeping i think we went a little ham with the full twin size it's uh, pretty nice so i think we're we're pretty nice we're probably going to adjust that make uh get some narrower rv beds but at the end of the day this has already been such a game changer um also diesel motor so things gonna go for you know anywhere from six hundred thousand to a 800,000 miles it has a hundred and forty on it so uh, and these are actually not too hard to find uh, as decommissioned service vehicles so like this was owned by of course the school district then it was auctioned off and and we bought it from that person it's a lot of technical inf info but if any bands are weighing their options you know I can only say we're about 10 days or whatever into this guy and I'm really happy with it. yeah I, so don't, far. I don't see myself going back to a van so long as nothing else unforeseen rears its ugly head. Yeah, it's been really comfortable. I mean, I sleep better out here than I do at home. Uh, these mattresses were uh, were great, but uh, as you can tell, not a whole lot of space for the guys on top, so we might be uh, making an adjustment on that. Uh, but yeah, sleep's very important. You know, um, we're out here for five weeks on this run. We've been out for you know two months before, and it's uh, sleeping on a bench seat every night, especially if you get sick. It's awful. It sucks. So it's nice to be comfortable. Yeah, muffins, got some muffins. This is just kind of a missile. I think this is, to be honest, I think this is the uh, uh, guy who's coming to film the inside of our bus and put shit in their bin. I think that's what this is technically doing. Yeah. But uh, we have, let's see, let's see. Uh, we high. got some, uh, a classic pairing. You all know, you, anyone who's been, knows anything about fine dining, knows about the blueberry muffins and crushed red pepper. So obviously, mm. rolling Great hard with that. Coca-Cola, okay. Here's a tour must. Emergency. Excuse me, inner seat. Yeah. Don't sue me. And then we got some fucking. Uh, we got a forgotten merch. about banana. Nice. Um, wow, look at that. We got an old vitriol beanie. Oh, I need a beanie. Look at that. I didn't even know we had that shit. Yeah, I lost mine. I'm gonna put the shit on. Here's an inverter that this guy installed so we can have power in here, charging our phones, using laptops, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the batteries are actually uh, directly underneath right here. So you have to climb underneath to get them out and they're heavy duty. So uh, 
they're real pain in the ass to get to, but we were able to put the inverter right there instead of punching through the firewall. So it's really excellent placement. Uh, we got it up on some uh, some blocks, so if anybody spills a drink, it goes underneath it and not into it. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. We got power. We can uh, play guitar out here and, and do whatever. Well, that's the other thing. Like we're working on an album right now, and we have a lot of work to do to, for the, the schedule that we're on. So it was really important to me to have a vehicle that I can comfortably sit with a guitar in my lap, headphones on, and and write, record. Learn, relearn riffs, um, so that's been a huge help with the space. And you fucking stand up in this thing if you're six foot or shorter. So we got some locks on here. Uh, you know, obviously these don't open, uh, or they excuse me, they don't lock because uh, it's an emergency vehicle. If you ever crash or whatever, you got to get children out. So we had to make our own lock system here. And we want to keep the children in. Yeah. In our case. Big rectangular room. Fits all of our gear, fits all of our merch. Uh, case of water, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We got the uh, side door as well over here for pulling cabs out. It's great. And it's, you know, usually right on the curb, right in front of the venue. Pretty convenient. Uh, the only thing that's not convenient is getting in here and putting all the gear away when you're not four feet tall. Well, thanks for checking out uh, version 1.0 of uh, what is we hope to be our long-term vehicle for the career of the band. I'm Kyle, this is Adam from Vitriol, and you can check us out in April on the road on the East Coast portion of Morbid Angels Tour alongside Revocation and Crypto. Looking forward to it. See you out there.